done in a, an acrylic nylon poly span. What that equals is a really soft knit that has some uh, texture to it, but it's just so drapey and flowy, it doesn't even want to stay on these hangers. So, and you're not going to hang it up when you get it home anyway. So, let's see here. Maybe if I do, I just want to do this, this crazy thing with the hanger strings so it stays on long enough for me to show you the colors. All right, so um, are you guys wearing the other? No, we're not. You're not. I'm, both of us are wearing red. Let me take the, um, let me take this dark. What are you wearing, Crystal? Nobody's wearing this one, right? Okay, so I'll take this over and look at, I think it's easier to look at it on a person. I hate hangers on sweaters, don't you guys? Yeah, it's the worst. So um, Andrea and I are both wearing, I'll show you that color in a second, but we're both wearing the size large in the red. And then here comes the little Crystal. Um, she's wearing the medium in the charcoal. Is that the charcoal? No, she's in the stone. Um, so uh, again, this is just an outfit completer. It's mm -hmm. super soft. You have the, uh, I know it's hard to see, but I'm gonna point out here, this is little notch collar. And um, you've got this wonderful buffalo check, but with this knit, it almost looks heathered and you've got like an overlap of, of two or three areas of, of uh, plaid here. So sometimes the buffalo is like dark and light, dark and light. It almost yeah. looks like a checkerboard, right? Mm -hmm. This one looks more almost like a mixed plaid, so. uh, which looks really, really nice and almost like a little tweed look to it. Although when I think of tweed, I think of scratchy. Yeah, um, no, this, this is really, really soft. And it has pockets in the front. Mm -hmm. The other color that we're not wearing is this one, which is the charcoal. Oh, so, so this one has like darker, like mixed shades of gray. So um, I'm going to put this in front of you, Andrea, for just a second because I, I want it. So Crystal's wearing mm -hmm. the uh, stone, which is also gray and black, but it has some of that like putty color in it. So you've got that lighter contrast, but the charcoal is all shades of gray. And then of course your traditional uh, buffalo check, I think is the red and black. So um, ladies, this is a really, really soft, yummy, you know, knit topper that you can pop on over really any type of outfit. Great with a t-shirt or a little turtleneck, but you can put a little pop collar under it, pop it on over a dress. Um, you can wear it with jeans or, you know, wear it instead of your traditional blazer to the office. Mm -hmm. It's really, really cute. And again, a great gift idea. This is five payments of under $12. And this is an expiring price, wow. which is going up at the end of the day. So you won't get under $60 tomorrow. It's also, um, you know, something that you can get six easy payments on with your cue card. So extra, extra small through 3X in this, this is a hand washable item. Mm. So I would say you probably okay to put it in the washer in a lingerie bag of some kind, but please, again, it's acrylic. Do not put acrylic in the dryer because it will shrink. Just yeah, like I was talking right. about. Like yeah, yeah, please do not. This will fit your five-year-old <laughs> if you put it in the dryer. <laughs> Maybe your 10-year-old. Yeah. Uh, but it won't fit you anymore. So again, it's super, this is really going to dry quickly. So just lay it flat to dry. It does not want to stay on hangers, but if you need to hang it to dry, you do have these little hanger helpers there underneath. Um, again, you've got a little collar on this that has a notch, almost like a, like a little bit of a tailoring there. This is really, really cute. And I think Gary and team have stepped out of the box with this one. Yeah, I haven't seen this looks more like a different designer brand than Denim and Company, don't you think? Yeah. yeah, really cute. Okay, here comes Kat. So now I can walk over here. So uh, she's got the charcoal one on and a medium. So we have two girls in a medium and two girls in larges in these out here today. And uh, the length on this is going to range from 27 to 31 and a quarter. So it is not it's like a tunic, like a shorter tunic length. It's longer than most tops. It's going to be, maybe if you're wearing a longer tunic length top, it might stick a little bit out from the bottom of this, maybe an inch or two, but this is a pretty good length. And again, it's like a blazer shaped sweater um, and a very lightweight, super soft sweater. It's a relaxed fit. So you have plenty of room in here to layer it over other things. You don't have to go up a size. And uh, Gary would be proud that the plaids match. Did everyone notice that? Yes. Matching plaids, not mix and match. Even the pocket is right on there, matching up. Looks great. 
So um, again, I give Gary such a hard time even when he's not here, but it is the mark of a better quality garment. And not, you can see that this is not just thrown together haphazardly because we, we take care to make sure that everything lines up nicely. So uh, five payments of $11.91. There's your little collar. Just adds that little sort of finishing touch to this instead of it just being like a typical cardigan sweater. But it does feel like a cardigan and plaids have been so popular this season. Plaids have been around forever. I mean, I'm I have a Scottish Highlander background. And so, you know, back then, you know, the plaid signified your clan, just like uh, the Irish Aran sweaters signified your family name by the type of cable knit they put in the sweaters for the fishermen. So, I mean, plaid is nothing new, but plaid is also a huge fashion statement, even more so this season. And we've had so much um, popularity with our plaid items. Um, and you know, you're seeing them in blouses and shirts and even shoes and handbags. So this is a great way to get a little pop of plaid into your closet, maybe in a different color than you already have. And of course, it's classic, it's never gonna go out of style. So again, here it is on me. I've just popped it on over my Halston t-shirt from the previous show. The girls are wearing it over uh, Denim and Company tops, of course, but it looks great with the t-shirt. Uh, great with something with a collar too, if you wanted to do that. I would like this with a little mock neck underneath. Um, this is certainly, if you're gonna wear it over another sweater or something a little bit uh, more substantial like our French Terry, it's generous enough to fit over something like that, but also not too thick that you can't wear it under a coat. So it's a great layering piece under or over. Here's the little collar. You can see the, the nice plaid on this. There are no fasteners. It's a flyaway opening. Um, this is great for traveling if you need that extra warmth. I would definitely buy that. There's the back. I would definitely uh, buy this as a gift for someone who's always chilly or cold or maybe somebody who you know is always walking around wearing a big sweater. This is gonna be something that they might wanna keep on their favorite rocking chair or you know in the bedroom or maybe at their office over their chair. This would be just a great, uh, little um, softy soft uh, topper to wear when it's a little bit chilly. Charcoal has been the most popular. I'm wearing the red. So the red is basically red and black. I will show you that um, the sleeve is finished like this. So you have just a little, uh, not a cuff per se, but the little finishing around the edge of the sleeve. Um, my arms are a little bit shorter than normal because I have small shoulders. So I usually always roll up my sleeves, but if I was cold, I could do this with my hands inside. So you can do whatever you want with those sleeves. Sometimes this is me with my hands on the steering wheel. So here's the charcoal. And let me undo that string. The charcoal is gonna feature uh, probably three shades of gray and some of them almost look dark enough to be a black in that plaid. There's the back of the charcoal. And then, you know, I'm not sure why we're calling this buffalo check, because you guys, this, to me, this looks almost like a, like a window pane plaid. I mean, I guess it's kind of buffalo. It's not, it's not really traditional buffalo check. You can see here's the inside, um, which gives you that tweed effect, and then the plaid knit on the outside. This one is the stone which gives you a little bit of a contrast of black and like a really light gray or darker cream color. And then one more time for the red. Here is the red with that more of a traditional buffalo check. But again, it's, it's more of a plaid than a buffalo check. I'm not sure why we called it that. Um, this is, actually it's buffalo plaid is what we're calling it, which is more appropriate because it's not really a checker. A lot of people are buying more than one. I'm glad you're doing that. One for you, one as a gift. Um, and when you get this home, you'll absolutely love how soft it is. Baby blanket soft. So the price on this goes up at the end of the day. It's an expiring price tag. And we also have five payments of $11.91 for you on that one. And um, take advantage of that because Five Easy Pays is the order of the day here with our holiday deals. All right, we have one more thing to show you, and it's in a corduroy, which we haven't seen yet in the show. And it is our printed floral stretch corduroy shirt. I think I'm just going to leave this on. I like this red. Does it look okay with my blue?